Good morning out there in the DFS community. It's Vaughn, the stat man, coming into your YouTube airwaves, and welcome to the stat room. Boy, am I glad the regular season is over, man. The NBA got to do something about this tanking and all of this, man. It's not competitive. It's not good for the fans. It's definitely not good for that father who saved his money all year to take his kid to go see a game. You know, like in the Minnesota game, guys, Ricky Rubio was slated to play a full game. It wasn't announced that he wasn't going to play. Then when the game tips off, Thibodeau just doesn't put him in the game. And Denver it was announced that Jokic was only going to play a half. He played the full game. You know, Oladipo was supposed to play a full game. He played a quarter and a half. So, guys, you name me one guy that could predict something like that. And I'm I'm, the, I'm probably the best consistent 300-point predictor on the net. I can't predict that kind of stuff. Now, look at the game when everything was consistent. My late game slate, you um, Portland announced – the guys that were going to play and the guys that was going to get minutes and the Lakers and, that, and the, 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 at the end of the game, the end of the slate, those teams announced who were all going to play. You know, so my late game slate, I had did a 312 and I cashed. Everybody who had my late game slate cashed as well as I sent it out. Um, it had Chris Paul, Shabazz Napier, Pat McConaughey, Pat, Pat, Pat McConaughey, the kid from Notre Dame who gave us 34.9. Klay Thompson, only he didn't even play in, in the fourth quarter. He gave me 21.4. They was deferring everything to Durant. Then you had, um, I had Kevin Durant had 47.1. Evan Turner flopped on me, but it's an NBA. You know, he just he's missed shots. He gave me 12.3. Noah Vonley gave me 37.3. Blake Griffin gave me 39.8. And DeAndre Jordan gave me 49.4. So I ended the night with a 312 and a wacky lineup. So guys. In a wacky lineup, I still go for 312. Now, why should I do on the playoffs? I'm going I'm to I'm win 70 to 80% of the time like I did in the regular season when things was consistent. Like I told you guys yesterday, it was going to be crazy. It was a bunch of unforeseen things that happened. You know, um, so now we're on to today, guys. But, um, but yeah, so baseball, let me explain to you something about baseball in the beginning of the season. The first two weeks of baseball is tough to predict, too, because... What you did last year don't matter. Like if you're looking at last year, the teams that were really good last year, they're starting off slow. The teams that were kind of slow, like Arizona, is, is doing really well. The Orioles are the number one team in baseball. Who would have predicted the Orioles go into, and that's my team, by the way. I was so happy to, to watch them yesterday, to go into to, um, the Red Sox Stadium and have six runs in the first inning. You know, so in the first month, I must say the first couple of weeks, it's tough to predict baseball, but it'll start getting consistent after about two weeks. But yeah, so guys, like I said, we're on to today. I can't wait for Saturday. I'm going to probably win every lineup on Saturday like I usually do. And and in baseball, today it looks like it's going to be a pretty solid slate. Teams are starting to settle in. Once the, the starting pitchers, the, the, big, the, big, the big guns, once they get two... So it's two starts and you can get a feel for how baseball is going to go. Because right now you got guys who were coming on strong last year who are playing the best. And a lot of the guys that are 9,000 or so, they're just playing average. Because what you did last year don't matter. That's in any sport. So if you think that just because Cleveland was super good last year, you think they're going to be good this year, you're going to probably be wrong. Because Cleveland's been struggling. They been was a good team last year. They're putting up two runs, three runs. So, so yeah, so we're on the baseball today, guys. And like I said, man. It's FanDuel, it's, it's, it's DraftKings. Take the good with the bad. All right, guys, so someone asked me yesterday, um, how do I feel about GPPs? I'm going to say this again, guys. GPP unlimited lineups were not meant for the average guy. If you go into a GPP, now listen, I'm one of the best on the net. If you go into that, to a GPP with one lineup, you are you are insane. That's why I call you the insane community. You got guys that that's the sharks. The sharks go find the top five guys on the net and buy 20, 30 lineups from them. I saw a guy yesterday in an unlimited GPP that I cashed in. He had 25 entrances, all with, with the same entrance. But then he had another 25 with a different lineup. Then he had another 25. So guys, you can't win a GPP with one lineup. Stop being stupid. I'm just going to just I'm, I'm tired of just explaining this to you guys. I don't know how to say it. You're not going to win a GPP with one lineup. If you can't afford to put 25 lineups in there, you're throwing money away. 
And don't come crying to me, tell me, oh, boy, your, your lungs didn't do well. How can you compete when you got one and a guy has 100, 200? Come on, guys, don't be stupid. If you play a GBP, it's for fun. And you should be expecting to lose because you are going to lose. I had a, I had a really good lineup, right? And I had a 312. And it was a solid lineup. But then a guy had my same lineup. And instead of having Clay Thompson, he had um, he had the, um, the shooting guard, Redick. And then instead of Edmund Turner, he had the Lakers shooting guard. And then instead of Noah Varley, he had um, the, the, the power forward, Stein. So somebody's going to have your same lineup, but the three players that did better than the guys you had. Because they pay for so many lineups. So guys, if you play GPP, expect to lose. And don't get mad when you lose because you're going to lose. Because you're insane. Alright, I'm going to leave it there. Um, hope you guys like what I did. Hit the like or subscribe button. And you can follow me, Vaughn, the Stat Man, on Twitter. Love you guys.